Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. Sharice is off tonight. The tropics are starting to get more active with some storms in the Gulf that could create a lot of rain. There's still time to see what develops, but we are watching the situation very closely. WWL Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin has the latest on that. Chris, what's the risk here? Really, at the moment, no risk. Just to let everyone know, the Hurricane Center is still not expecting any development across the Atlantic Basin, including this little area of moisture we've been watching for the next seven days. That puts us to next Monday. And here's what we're talking about. Kind of an area of clouds, nothing organized, just a surge of moisture. And that really has been the more persistent forecast with the models kind of going back and forth as to whether or not something organizes or not. What has been consistent is this surge of moisture moving toward the peninsula of Florida. Now some dry air may be battling northern Florida and the panhandle over the coming days. But toward the end of the week, it looks like that moisture starts to win out. And in fact, we start to see some of that moving toward us probably by Sunday and Monday with that surge of moisture over us. We are looking at quite a bit of rainfall, whether or not we have any kind of flooding issues is yet to be seen, but we're not really seeing the models grab on to any organization. The conditions across the Gulf just look to be too hostile as we head toward the weekend. We'll talk more about that and, and also with regards to our rain chances in the coming days in just a few minutes. Okay, thank you, Chris.